In today's video, we are going to be breaking down Anthony Davis and some of his basketball moves that he uses in-game so that you can use these moves in-game yourself. Let's get down. Let's check out Anthony Davis. Really quickly, if you want to know any of the equipment that I use with myself or my clients, make sure to go check out the links down in the description below. Okay, so in this first move, he is coming off of a screen and roll, and then he is attacking the player who switches off on him. So, of course, he is being screened before by a smaller player. And, of course, that smaller player hedges because he is afraid of Anthony Davis attacking the rim. Now, Anthony Davis does have his main defender coming back down to double-team him in the low post. Rajon Rondo originally was coming off of the screen to roll towards the basket, but instead, Anthony Davis is the one who was attacking the basket. Now, after this screen, he sees this, he plants his right foot and he's able to spin off remember we're allowed to take two steps that is one step two step and then he's able to go up for the massive slam now you can do this yourself in game so he's able to come off of that screen take one dribble take a second dribble and then plant that inside right foot you're able to spin off and you can finish with a floater if you're not as tall as him or you can finish with a dunk the other option too is of course if this Ingles player was a little bit better of a defender when it came to the double team or if a triple team came over if Rajan Rondo was able to pop out for the three-point shot you as the center could have kicked the ball out for an open three but if you can take over a game like Anthony Davis does you can do this as well now handles is a good thing to have so here he has a quick double behind the back crossover and that loses his defender so that he can finish with a floater now this is a very simple play so of course he's coming off of the screen once again he gets that hedge he gets that switch that behind the back crossover gets that player anyways because that player wanted to recover to his man hoping that there was no switch potentially and that's what we see here he gets caught out of defensive positioning and of course anthony davis is able to finish right at the rim so here we have anthony davis out on the three-point line he's able to get himself into the low post by just simply crossing over the ball and turning his back towards his defender this allows him to get low post positioning from the perimeter and that only took one dribble to get there now when he's in this position he's able to do a quick shoulder fake a quick ball fake with a negative step and from there he is able to attack that right side quick crossover because that player was not allowing him to take the middle of the key so now he crosses back over takes a quick step back and he's able to finish with that shot. Now, what he could have done here too is that quick spin off of that post positioning, crossover, and then take could have taken a quick hop over, which then would have allowed that player to give him the middle in most cases, and he could have crossovered back towards the middle, but instead we see that spin crossover one more dribble step back and he's able to finish anyways off ball movement is very important if you've got a guard who is a very good passer you can do a quick seal spin towards the basket to do this all you need to do is of course usually you would want to hook the player around so you might want to have that elbow hooking that player just a bit more but he's able to do this because that player was not paying attention he did actually hook right there anyways at the end and then he was able to get that wide open lay a dunk you can finish with a layup as well but if you can start just a bit far farther out if you're going to finish with a layup you can put this arm up just to let this player know hey i'm about to spin and then Spin, seal, get that arm on that defender, and now you've got yourself an open lane to the basket. To overpower a player like Shaq or even Anthony Davis, what you can do is, of course, you can be in the low post, face up your, your defender, do a quick jab. A jab is going to do a couple of things for you, but this is just a negative step. I would personally, if you're younger, start with a jab and then go. That way you can attack that baseline and then if you can get your shoulder over top of your feet, you can slightly push off with a hop and that's what we see here. Push off with a hop and that way you can create that space between your defender and you. This should allow you to create at least a couple of inches worth of space and anyways, you should be in position. If you can get in position by just being a couple of inches in front of that backboard, what you can do now is go up for your shot 
And there's not much that defender can do if you can get up high enough because he can't touch that mesh, he can't touch that backboard. If you can pin him underneath that basket, you can go up for a dunk or a layup and you'll be totally fine. You can do the same thing here. However, if you get stuck behind the backboard, take one big step and then you can go for a hop if you've got enough steps left. Remember, you have to worry about travels at this point. But... If you can take one big step in a hop or two big steps afterwards, you can finish on the other side. But you just have to watch out for the help side coming over to pin your shot. But he is able to finish with a dunk here. So this is what I mean. One last dribble. Now when he did this, he's got two steps. So he could go one step and then a hop landing on both feet. But that would not put him into position to dunk it. That would be in position to do a layup. Now this next one is more of a guard move, but if you can cross over twice between your legs, and if you can see that the defender's heels are on the ground, you can do a quick hesitation or maybe even a killer crossover once to get into a step back, and then you can of course go up for your shot. But what he does here is a quick double behind the, between the legs, I mean, that gets his defender onto his heels, and then he gets that hesitation, pushes off of that right foot, goes one, two, and into a shot. I hope that this video helps you in the low post. If it does, hit that like button, subscribe. Make sure to go check out all of the equipment that I use down in the description below, and I'll see you guys again next time.